Hello and welcome, I'm Stormer and this is the Daily Gaming News. Valve breaches Australian consumer law. The Australian Competition and Consumer Commission took Valve to court in 2014 over its lack of a refund policy on Steam. Valve defended itself by saying it doesn't officially conduct business in Australia and that its subscriber agreement is covered by US law. The court found that Valve does do business in Australia and that it misled Australian consumers via its subscriber agreement. ACCC Chairman Rod Sims said, The federal court's decision reinforces that foreign-based businesses selling goods and or services to Australian consumers can be subject to Australian consumer law obligations, including the consumer guarantees. Sims also pointed out that this is the first time the courts have extended the definition of goods to cover computer software. Valve has since implemented a refund system for games on Steam. Penalties will be discussed at a hearing on April 15th. Street Fighter V patch adds challenge mode and online store. The patch adds challenge mode which consists of tutorials and trials and a rematch option for ranked and casual online matches. Eight player battle lounges are now available and Capcom has also revealed all the new costumes that will be available from the store. The real money currency is not yet available however and Capcom are making all DLC characters free as a trial until it does become available. All current players will receive Ryu and Chun-Li's story mode costumes for free. Killer Instinct Season 3 and PC versions launch. The PC version is exclusively available via the Windows 10 store. Season 3 adds new characters including Kim Wu, Tusk, Arbiter and General Ram, as well as more characters to come over the next few months. The game now supports cross-platform purchasing as well as cross-platform play. The PC version will lock its frame rate at 60 frames per second during ranked online matches to ensure the best possible experience for both platforms. The next Call of Duty game may be set in space. Eurogamer reports that the title will have a distant future setting and involve warring factions in space. The game is being developed by Infinity Ward, whose last Call of Duty title was Call of Duty Ghosts. The game is expected to be released in November. That's all the gaming news for today. We leave you now with the trailer for Inferno Climber, the new game from Arc System Works, which has now become a PC exclusive title.